I'm Michael, and welcome to another episode of Book Club Preview. Today, we're going to look at Penderwick's In Spring, Chapter 16, Dreaming. Now, this chapter is just after, you know, Batty has her terrible adventure into the woods, and after she's heard this really terrible conversation that Jeffrey and Skye were having, where Skye tells Jeffrey um, that she kind of, in a way, blames uh, Batty for her mom's death. Or at least, that's at least how Batty hears it. It starts off with Batty being woken up by Rosalind. Now, Rosalind is Batty's almost mother. Um, Rosalind's taken care of Batty, you know, her whole life. And, um, you know, they're really, really close siblings. You know, oldest daughter, and for a long time, Batty was the youngest daughter until um, Ben and Lydia were born. So there's a really special relationship between these two. And so Rosalind wakes up Batty and she's asking Batty if she's okay. Um, Rosalind doesn't think Batty's okay, but Batty just tells her, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then finally, Rosalind has to go because Oliver um, doesn't want to be late or getting back to school too late. And Batty feels really sad um, that this new Rosalind, this um, Rosalind with Oliver, uh, doesn't seem to care or give her as much of his attention as before. The other thing we see is after Rosalind wakes up Batty, this is the middle of the day, she's been sleeping all day, um, now she has to go down and see the rest of the members of her family, but she has to keep the sadness inside. So she takes a shower, she changes her clothes, she hides some of her clothes, and she, she prepares herself to, to put on a mask in front of everyone. And Batty keeps thinking to herself, um, and we'll see later on also, that there's now this perspective in her mind, this before Batty, before the conversation, before she heard Skye and Jeffrey talking, this before Batty uh, was this person that looked at the world differently, and now there's the after Batty, and the after Batty's heard this terrible sad news um, that she really uh, takes and believes. So there's these two baddies she's always comparing. Um, while she goes down and sees the members of her family, she's practicing, um, not showing her emotion and sadness. It's a really strange thing because she sees Sky, and this is going to be the hardest person to look at because she's so sad. And she sees Sky, and Sky looks a little sad, you know, probably from her fight with Jeffrey. But Batty kind of inside says, who cares if Sky is sad, right? She has this attitude of, of pain towards Sky, which is very different than what we usually see with Batty. Um, Batty ends up calling a, uh, a meeting with Ben. She goes and looks for him because this is really important uh, to keep her secret. And so she finds Ben and this is really, really cool because Ben is playing with Lydia. And Ben never plays with Lydia. This whole book, Ben has been trying to avoid Lydia. But now he kind of respects Lydia for the way that she treated Oliver. And so he's playing with her. And it's a really, really cool scene uh, in the book. Batty calls a mops meeting. But for an official mops meeting, all the siblings have to be there. Um, a meeting of Penderwick siblings. Used to be sisters, but then Ben was born, so they changed it to siblings. But Batty doesn't want Jane and, and Skye to know about her adventure, because they'll ask too many questions. So Batty makes a new meeting. She says, this is a meeting for the younger Penderwick siblings. And uh, so it's just for Batty and Ben and Lydia. And in this meeting, Batty tries to tell Ben um, all the stuff that happened without giving any important details. And uh, Ben's really confused, but Batty just ends the meeting and, uh, and just kind of goes away. Batty feels safe. Well, while Batty is sleeping, she has these strange dreams. She dreams of Nick in a classroom and everyone kind of teasing her, making fun of her. And after the dream, she kind of wakes up. And it's the middle of the night. And um, 
and she really uh, feels lonely and uh, and misses her mom and she runs downstairs and tries to find a picture of her mom and then she goes back upstairs and um, while she's going back upstairs Ben hears her and bumps into her and sees her and Ben's really worried about Batty and he's are, are you sleeping um, do you have this uh, disease that he's worried about and um, Batty's like no no it's fine go to bed and Ben just kind of goes back into his room and that's how the chapter ends some vocabulary words you might be curious about. The first one is accommodate. Accommodate means to make someone more comfortable or to give in on an idea or belief. Um, for example, uh, if a friend goes to your house or something and you ask them, oh, do you want any juice or tea or water? And you give them some options, but they didn't pick any of the options you offered. And maybe they say, oh, uh, do you have coffee? Oh, you, you weren't prepared to give them coffee, but you want to make them comfortable. You want to make them relaxed and safe, and you accommodate their request. And so you make them some coffee. Um, it can also be used when you're um, trying to bargain uh, with someone. Um, maybe you uh, you have some homework and your mom says do your homework but you just been going to school all day and you're tired and you say mom um please let me watch uh this movie first i'm i'm so tired let me watch this movie then i'll do my homework after and your mom says no you have to do your homework right now or do your homework first and then watch a movie so your mom won't let you watch a movie it's too big so you try to accommodate her you try to give some of your um, want so that way she can agree with you a little bit more. So you say, well, okay, mom, how about if I just read this book for 20 minutes then, and then I'll do my homework. And your mom thinks about it and says, oh, okay, fine. I'll give you 20 minutes to just relax, read this book, whatever. And then, then you have to do your homework. You accommodated um, this bargaining or this uh, dispute. Another word you're probably curious about is scrutinize. Scrutinize means to look at something really closely and really critically, like you're judging it. Um, for example, maybe this pen, um, this is a surface pen, and you've never seen one before, and you look at it and you're like, oh, look at this technology. Maybe you open it or you click some buttons. You're looking at it really close. How is this designed? Um, in our story, Batty is scrutinizing her appearance, right? She's looking at her face and seeing if she's wearing this mask well enough. Another word we have is quesadilla. You've probably seen this word or even have heard this word. A quesadilla is a type of Mexican food with a tortilla and cheese and usually meat or vegetables inside. Um, but it's a Spanish word, and so it's pronounced quesadilla. If you look at it, it looks like it's pronounced quesadilla, but those L's um, are silent. Quesadilla. Um, another word is got down. This expression means to, to put some food and get it all the way down to your stomach. If you've ever been sick, you know that it's really hard to eat something. You try to eat some breakfast or lunch and oh, you, you just can't eat it. You can't get it down. Can't get it down your throat. Batty, even though she's feeling really nervous, she manages to get down two quesadillas because she's really hungry. She hasn't eaten all day. Um, the last word we're going to look at is uh, zitzi fly or zetzi fly can be pronounced different ways. This is a fly from Africa, and you can do plenty of research on it on your own if you wish, um, but it's kind of like a mosquito because it likes to drink blood or bite people or eat meat, um, but it hurts when it bites, and it can carry a really, really dangerous disease. And um, it, Ben is worried that maybe Batty was going to die of sleep sickness. 
um, is part of the disease that, that takes place. And uh, so he's really happy to see Batty awake and alive. Well, some discussion questions. While I was reading the book, I was wondering, have you ever had a conversation that you haven't been able to understand? If we think about Ben and Batty in their um, meeting of the younger, younger Penderwick siblings, Batty's trying to share this stuff with Ben, but, but Ben doesn't understand what she's talking about. He doesn't understand what's going on in the conversation. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, maybe when you were young, your parents were trying to tell you about uh, moving to a new place. And you thought, why, why do we have to move? This is our house or our apartment. Um, why are we moving to another place? You didn't quite understand what was going on in the situation. Um, I'd like to hear about it. What was your experience? How did you feel? It's probably similar to how Ben felt. Another question is about dreams. Um, at the end of the chapter, Batty has this really strange dream and it, it really makes her feel weird. Have you ever had a strange dream? Uh, what was it like? What happened in the dream? Tell us about it. And the last question I'd like to ask you is what do you do when you can't sleep? Um, do you drink some hot milk or warm milk? Uh, do you read a book? When you're lying there in bed and maybe you're too excited or it's too early, what do you do to help yourself fall asleep? Let me know. Well, thank you so much for your time. This is the end, and this is another episode of Book Club Preview. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.